In the last video, I gave you the three or four traits of self-made millionaires. Today, we're gonna to get into that fourth trait, which is massive scale on a consistent basis. If you wanna make money, you must be bone stock consistent in your activities and your execution. One of the problems is everyone can hit a good lick. It's happened to me. I bought a unit for $1 that made me $60,000 plus. Life continues on. You can have this big lick and then you can stop doing the things that made you successful. One of my biggest problems was an inconsistency in advertising during my storage auction days. I could chart what my money would be based upon my behavior 30, 60, in 90 days before. That's where your money's made. Many people look at doing certain things over and over as boring, which it could be, but it is essentially important to your business because if you are doing any type of business and you're not consistently marketing, you're gonna be in trouble at some point. And marketing is not sexy. It is not gee whiz, it's not the hot thing, it's not gonna do it for you on the gram. How does one be consistent with something that they don't wanna be consistent with? Well, let me bring you up to speed with what happened to me my first six months on YouTube. I didn't like making YouTube videos, but I love the results. And this is where you should be. If you are having a problem in your business and you're not particularly happy about doing it or sending out emails or writing emails, you must learn to love the results. Once you learn to love the results, then you'll begin to appreciate and like the process at some point. You may even fall in love with the process. I remember making my first video. It felt strange, it felt awkward, it felt weird. I'm sitting here talking to the camera in my basement at the time. Then I put that video on YouTube and the traffic to my blog increased tenfold. And I was like, I like that. And I kept making videos, but I really didn't like it. I had to fake it until I made it. I had to smile, I had to be happy, and then something happened. Around my 12th video or 20th video, I started to relax a little bit. I was still kind of tight. And then my 30th video, I just didn't care. And then around my 50th video, I was like, okay. And that's when I started to find my voice. And at that point, I began to enjoy making videos without the stick or you could say carrot or the apples or the dollars of getting traffic to my blog which meant i had money because i was selling more of my product once i released it i wouldn't have kept making youtube videos because i didn't like it what you have to do is put on your big boy pants your big girl panties and dig in and keep messing with whatever you're messing with whatever part of your business until it gets to be something that you enjoy and something that you can be proud of. I was looking back at a lot of my older videos, there's like well over 2000. I can tell you, I wish I had got a better camera from day one. That's something that didn't happen until about year three. You can make a lot of money with a crappy camera, bad audio, and good content, but you can make even more money if you had the good content with a great camera, great audio. I mean, many people will debate me on this, but I think everyone needs to start shooting in 4K and for this reason only. If you're gonna stay in the game and this has to do with consistency, you can repurpose your video. But if you're shooting substandard video and not being consistent with your quality and production, then you're gonna see it at some other point because there are so many videos that I wish that I had shot in higher quality and I used proper audio because these videos are six, seven, eight, nine years old, but I can still use them. And this is another point with consistency. Once you do something, stick with it. All, most of the people who came on YouTube when I did are gone because they weren't consistent and they did not change up. The most powerful thing you can do after those three or four traits, because once again, it is you must think, you must execute, you must revise, and then fourth, take those three things and do it on a massive scale. That will move anybody's business, that will move anyone's cheese, that will take you from the promised land, that will take you to the promised land, that will move you so far ahead in life, it is ridiculous. But so many people 
can't manage those four things. And then when you get to the consistent thing, doing the same things over and over and over, it gets kind of boring. And then we're in a society where people need to be excited and need to have that energy. And you know what, from a scientific program or a scientific angle, that's called a dopamine kick. When you watch these videos or you watch certain videos, like uh, go check out Leafy is here and look at his videos. He's talking, but he's got a lot of stuff going on and he's popping those dopamine kicks. If you don't get those dopamine kicks, you will not be interested. You will not keep watching videos. So as a creator, knowing this, you must be consistent in doing things to get dopamine kicks. How does one stay consistent when one doesn't want to be consistent. You have YouTube, you have Facebook, you have all these things pulling for your attention. And I mean, sometimes it's very hard to focus. This weekend, I spent a whole weekend doing research and redesigning my studio. If you're a Facebook friend of mine, you can be able to check out that video. Me to be consistent, I must create an environment which consistent can be born, thrive, and grow. Part of being consistent is creating your, like say you have a home office. Your home office should be set up for productivity. Many people will maybe take a corner of the kitchen table or they'll have a little crappy desk and a little crappy computer and they'll try to make big money with this bad environment. A good environment will promote consistency. You'll be able to sit down and start doing what you need to do because you don't have to mentally reset. You don't have to mentally rearrange. And this is one of the biggest roadblocks to being consistent in your business is you have not set up a framework where you can be consistent, where you can be happy, where you can be comfortable and where you can execute on a large frame. This is the hardest thing to do because doing this work pays no money moving up your office, arranging your office, it makes absolutely no money, but it's so necessary for you to create this consistent money stream. Because first of all, it's action, execution, revision, and then scale. You keep doing that. I don't care if you're broke, dick, Danny, penniless Priscilla, you don't have any money, you're living in the hood, you're living in your car. If you do those four things and then boom, put the fifth thing on, you're gonna change your life. It's not gonna be in a week, it's not gonna be in a month, it's not even gonna be in a few months. You're looking at a few years, but here's the thing. If you live long enough, those years are gonna come and go by and you're gonna be like, well, why didn't I start this five years ago or six years ago or 10 years ago? So I'm telling you today, one of the things you need to do is to start being consistent. So for some of you, I have a few older videos that will help you with this and getting that proper mindset together. The links will be below. And for those of you who want to speed ahead, I have a few older products on Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills. Those will be below. And then I have some new stuff for people who want to be in class. Links are below in the first few comments. So I got a question for you. What is keeping you from being consistent in your life? Notice I said life. I didn't say business. I said life because we're going to get into this whole business life continuum thing. And what I mean by that is I designed my business around the life that I wanted to have before I had it. Many of you are trying to get money with little regard to what the future may bring, how you may feel, what's going to happen in your life. And then that's when you're going to run into a lot of problems because a lot of you and I have many friends who are trapped. They can't do what they want to do in their business because they didn't build it correctly. So it's just something to think about. Once again, what is it in your life that is keeping you from being consistent? And once you know what it is, what are you doing to change it? So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.